So this is how you operate the home theater. It's a little tricky, so I'm just gonna take you through it because there are several remotes. First thing you need to do is use this remote here, the Sony remote, and this is for the projector. You gotta turn it on, so it's very simple. There's a green button at the top right, and that's your power button. All you have to do is press it once, and if you look up at the projector, you'll see the light up here start flashing green, and then that is turning itself on. So once it's warmed up, it will turn itself on. Then the next button you need to press is on the amplifier here. Now you need to press this power button right here, and then it turns on. Your volume control is right there, up and down. And then, depending on what you use, whether you need want to watch TV or whether you want to watch Netflix or something like that, there's two modules. So this bottom module here, the Samsung, that's for all your Netflix set-top box stuff as well as a DVD player. It's a Blu-ray DVD player. And the remote for that is this Samsung remote right here. What you need to do is this top left button is the power button. Turn it on. And then you'll see the digital display light up saying on. And then what you need to do, there's three main buttons you need to use on this amp. The very first button on the left here is BD, D, BD slash DVD. That is the button you press if you want to watch um, all your Netflix type things and also watch a DVD. So it needs to be on that setting. And up on the screen here, it says BD, DVD, in stereo so you can watch that uh, and then if you flick around to the screen yeah and, and using this remote you can point the remote up to the projector you can't point it at the screen there's no actual laser there for you to, to do that so you actually need to be sitting on the lounge and just point up to the projector and you can go to Netflix YouTube Stan whatever it is that you want to watch so you just scroll using this on the remote there's an up, down, left and right. That's what you use. If you want to go back, you just there's a return button there. That just goes back to the last screen. If you're ever watching Netflix or anything and you want to exit back, you can either hit keep hitting that one or there's a home button as well. If you hit the home button, it'll bring you back to that main menu. So it's easy. You just scroll through and when you want to select something that it's on, say for example YouTube, put the box on YouTube and then go to this remote and in the middle of... The scroll menus buttons there is the um, the enter button, so you just hit that, and then it'll flow up. Okay, so that's how you use that. Now, to use it for TV, 